Oh, that that was good. Um, yeah. Uh, had to get a breakfast done, folks. And welcome back, everybody. It's probably similar nineteen here on Spectacle Island, folks. Uh, I love a nice green cut yard. That the uh, Birchmore here does a good job. Man, as long as the operator don't miss nothing. Oh, clothes are gone this time. I was fixing to say every who does the clothes can do the dishes, but yeah, they might be gone. I don't know. But folks, guess what? Guess what? Let's go in here. Our soybeans and corn is still in a blue. I'm not waiting no more. I'm going to go ahead and plant. And this is the reason why. Look at the minimum temperature is 50, 53, 64, 68. And, and uh, I'm on. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take care of this real quick. Pigs are looking good. I done them uh, last night before I went to bed. And the sheep's doing. Chickens doing. The the goat. I had to go put some propane in it. And uh, the uh, cows are doing good. So everybody's good there. Ooh, ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have had breakfast so fast. But anyway, anyway, this is what happened at last time. We'll insert this little pick here. As you can see, property maintenance is 175 hours, but property income is 293. So we're surviving that. And I want to show y'all something. Y'all ready for it? Y'all ready? Three, two, one, boom. What, Mr. Blue? It says a tractor. Folks, we had skinnies on this, and uh, uh, Christy Nicola and, and Dan. Dan, uh, well, I want to say Dan the man. He, he's the man, because, uh, yeah. Look, look, folks. It's still the same one we had where they just put the wide tires on there. I love it. But there's a reason for that. All right, I'm going to insert this here. Uh, let's see. As you can see up at the top right, it's the first day of early summer. And it's like the days are long and warm in summer. It's time to make hay and watch the crops grow. Make hay. Make hay. Yeah, that's right, folks. We're going to make hay. Um, where are our stuff situated here? Little trailer there, loader wagon. Where's the big boy? Where's the big boy at? Well, fortunately, big boy's fixing to go. Hang on. Alright, here's the big boy. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna sell her. Because, folks, I need some money. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and repair first $197. And then we're gonna get a hundred and eight eight nine eight back. So we're going to sell her. It's all right. But in her place, we're going to get another tractor, folks. And uh, I was just up here. I was thinking about going over there and give me a, another, like a breakfast grill. But uh, my eye caught me. Look here, folks. This, this ain't ours. But I was talking to the guy that had it. And uh, it's pretty nice. I think we need to get one of these to haul or uh, do a contract missions or, or hauling ones. And then I got over here and I'm like, hmm, it'd be even better with just a flatbed. And I oh, y'all probably seen this. Um, we, th this ain't ours. I, I wish it was ours, but we can't afford this piece here. But we're going to get the ride in it today. And we got the uh, Flint 313 with the wind roller. The Chrome with the tether. And this guy here, the uh, 724 Flint with the baler on the back. And the JCB Fast Track. Well, loader, uh, not loader, but uh, bell collector trailer. We're all going to be using these, uh, I'm hopefully in this episode, because uh, we got some time to kill. 
Um, okay, it's time to go on up to the top and see what we're fixing to get, folks. All right, we had the mower here. I bought it of my money. Um, so yeah, um, it's just going to go with her butterfly. Um, I, I forgot about something that I haven't done yet, so I'm going to go take care of it now. I'll be right back. All right, folks, I forgot to do this part here real quick. Um, bakery transport in 10498 at a gold mine transport, 16241 Two pallets of gold, folks. Ooh, this island's rich with gold. I had uh, 10, 13, and 16 fertilizing. Uh, 4, 4, 8, 79, 9, 8, 8, 9. 9764 so and this is the one with the the, the stuff uh the other people's stuff um uh, once it's motor grass tatted it or tatter, dry it with a tatter blah, then bail it and take the bells of straw barn for uh, thirty thousand two seventy five so having to bring that up um talk to the banker and um uh, he said, we'll borrow some money. So, yeah. Uh, let me switch my controller to my mouse and my space bar. And, and hang on, folks. Here we go. Oh, I guess that's enough, huh? <laughs> $670,000 is what we can borrow, folks. That is what we can borrow. All right. It's time for me to get up out of here. And, uh... Yeah. They go in there, use their Wi Fi so I can talk to the banker and stuff. But anyway, now we're going to go in here. We're going to go to the large tractors. I already got it picked out, so it should go pretty quick. Um, oh, yep, right here. The AFS Connect Magnum, folks, for 295000 Yeah, 295 Now, Now, watch this when I go in here. Hey, um, we're going to go to Michelin's, I believe. Is it Michelin's? Midas is what we're going to go with. Be these big chunky guys right here. And we're going to put the floater weights on there. And um, I think we're going to go with the... Both style too. Um, they're just a little bit different. You've seen the different. Uh, we're going to go with uh, front and rear fenders. Uh, tractors. Uh, the quick hitch on the back. Yes. Uh, windows. We're going to go with the dark tent. We got light tent, dark tent, uh, GPS, of course. Engine setup. The 250 is 320 horsepower, and you got the Magnum 400, which is uh, 451 horsepower. So that's what we're gonna go with. Um, front tractors, we want that, so we can use it for the mower. Uh, flashers, uh, which is these arms on the back, they can go EU, no. And standard, we're going standard. Uh, the extra lights is up here by the front windshield. It gives you extra light there. So four hundred and fifteen thousand and fifty dollars, folks. Going once, going twice, sold to the farmer on the island. Oh wait, well, for to me, there's a couple more farmers. That's all we're going to get in there. Um. I'm going to go over here. We're going to go to. Let's just go Tedder's next. Um, thought about just getting that. And that is not a mod. So I thought about going with this one. It's a little cheaper anyway. It is bigger than what we're needing. That's 8.4. Which this one would be perfect for that. But just in case we don't. You know we need a bigger Tedder. So we're going to go here. Uh, we're going to swap that up to 15 mile an hour, and we're going to buy. 
Yes. Okay. Then we're going to go to wind rollers. I really don't think I'd put that on my little thing. Um, no, I didn't. Got the tractor. I got the tether. Uh, huh, yeah, I didn't put the wind there. That might cost us a little bit there. <laughs> um, I really don't know which one to get. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know why I didn't put it down. I know why I didn't put it down. I almost forgot. Goodness gracious, I'm so forgetful. We got some new bailers we're going to try out, folks. Um, I think I'm... I like Massey and stuff, uh, but I think we're going to go with New Holland on this. One. And it's going to be this baler here. You know, I didn't go in and torque this too much. Let's see. Wheels. Uh, you got that and that. We're going to go with that because uh, extra thousand dollars right there. Well, we just go with those and save that thousand. We are going to tune this up to 15. Uh, trailer hitch. Oh, they got that thousand dollars plus 500, didn't they? Trailer hitch. We need folks. We need it. So there it is. Going once, twice, and sold to me. Okay. Um, and also we're going to get this thing here. We're going to try it. Um, we're, we're going to try it. I ain't nothing but the colors. Um, so I'm on main color to let's see Challenger, New Holland. And we're just gonna leave it like that. And we're gonna buy. Thirty five thousand, not bad. Alright. Um we also need a bell trailer. I thought it was in here. Oh, right here it is. Um Need a square one. Uh, base. You got the toolbox and frame. Two toolboxes. I think we're going to go with this. It kind of looks this. And it's going to be auto load. Uh, we can take that up to 28 bales. Wheel set up. Wide tires. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. So now you know why I put the big floaters on the other other tractor folks uh, let's go up here and check it out all right there she is the magnum afs 400 tractor and i'm stuck we got our tether and you see our right thing here that you know it wind rolls it itself it puts the bales in here i think in the stacks of four should be four. And then it's our olive oil trailer. So, we can use this equipment on that one field, but I'm going to go ahead and use their equipment. So, uh, let me get things set up and yeah, go from there. Made the wrong turn, but everybody's still following. Our field seven's right there on top. Alright, here we go, folks. Down. Turn on and switch to the tractor part. Lower, um, wide spreading should be good. And turn on. All right. And tether is doing its job right away. I am getting over just a little bit out of bounds for the field. And I'm going to make a, a, a pass all the way around the field. That way the hard worker should be able to do his job. Uh, you know how hired workers can get. Well, I missed it a little bit, but it'll be alright. All right, I'm probably going to put this in time lapse, and I might skip some of it. So we we got a lot of stuff to do today, folks. It's uh, 6:43 in the morning, and yeah, I, I want to get all the grass and stuff tetted. I, I mean, I want to get this contract here done so we can do our own grass, and 
we got time, we're going to do the planting because planting's happening today. But I don't know what's going to be in this video. I know I done said that three times, and I'm sorry. But uh, the temp's still 48, and by 9, 10 o'clock this morning, the ground temp should be good. And I, know, I just don't want to take no chances with the soybeans. The corn probably can handle it, but I know the soybeans are precious. And they are money makers. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to do each bit of this in a time lapse so y'all get to see some of it. And uh, I'll be back here in a second. I'm going to take a jump cut first into the time lapse. Okay, yeah, I was going to do a time lapse, but folks, I'm not doing this. The hired help is doing this. All the way back down. Um, just about every time. I didn't catch it right go. And backed all the way back to the other end. I'm like, and it's doing it again. So I, I don't know. I really don't know. I wish I had uh, some y'all. I don't want to turn it on right yet because it did the window roll. I do want to turn the mower on. That's where I wish I had some uh, regular peppers like y'all out there that's watching. The only thing about that, I got so many mods, it'd be hard to, to get all the mods right because a lot of mine are customized. But anyway, I do have uh, my setup down here, but I'm going to change some of this setup. Um, this big guy does not need to be on, on just something like this. So we're going to swap out the two red ones. The, the little, little tractor is going to be on the mower and the tether. And uh, this big guy here is going to be on this baler. I mainly want to show y'all this here. And then uh, we're going to start. Eh, I'm just going to go ahead and do the planting in the next video, folks. So that way it won't be, you know, so tied up and everything. I got All right. That's. Oh. All right. I let that down. Um, right. Oh, here we go. Alright, it's the uh, left bumper and down on your right joystick, but to get them, you can take them up if you want to, I'll bring them down, that's awesome, and you lower it down, okay, um, alright, we're going to turn this off for a second, he's got to get mowing, and then we'll come in and do this. Now I'm kind of bouncing around everywhere, but I had to come up here and get this guy moved off of the uh, that side there so the mower can finish. Which is going to take, you see him right now, they're backing up all the way down again. As long as it's doing its job, you know, it might take a little bit, but hey, what can we say? And uh, on this here, I wanted to show y'all, I got him, he'll make that turn. There he goes. Uh, 2.5 is the... Uh, yeah, it's not going to show it. Okay. But anyway, you can just trust me. It's 2.5 offset, I think, to the right. And... Um, and, of course, he's going to miss that. Sounds about right. Uh, I almost got a, a load here, folks. Uh, you're probably like, oh, I'm not going to have to drive the baler. Okay, he's full. We'll um, push them all up here. You're probably like, how? Uh, you're going to have to drive the baler all the way across? No, folks. If you come up to here, without somebody hitting you in the rear end, you, you can uh, follow the wind roller go ahead and turn this off and it's showing grass I, I 
I hope it's I didn't have to let it dry some. Usually on a contract you don't have to do that. But this is uh I'm gonna make a route to the straw barn. I'll go ahead and take that here in a second off screen. But as you can see, our helper abandoned us again. I guess I was talking too much bad about them. But it was they turned completely around. They was facing that way. They come down here, back all the way up to the pass there. Then it makes a big wide circle. Get that like that, back up a little bit, and they start right here, and they quit. So, all right, and when you're doing this, folks, you want to set your GPS up for your biggest part, which you don't want it set up for your tether, because it's going to be wider than your mower. But you want set up for your mower, this big one here. And in the tether, as you can see, it should be... Uh, a little bit behind. We'll turn that on. And probably should have got whoa. Uh, and an even spot first. We're gonna turn that on. Turn that on. And you should see. Oh, okay. There we go. You see how it's uh, dark green, then it's just lighter green. Well, it's going to look like neon green when it's dried. So, um, that's going to take a while on our part. I should have went this way. We're going to change this up real quick. Um, tractor sounds like it's kind of struggling a little bit, so. I'm just going to have to do what we're going to do for what we got. Oh, now we're going to 15. Okay. Just going to have to play around with it. Oop, don't want to get our canola. But yeah, I'm going to pretty much do some of this off screen. I'll bring you back when it's kind of done and stuff, folks. Alright folks, I'm a complete fool. I could have swore on contracts, Big Daddy, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I know Ravenport, when you had a bailing contract, I think it was Ravenport, you, or even Sonoka, you mow Ted, and then you can bail it right away and take it to the barn and it would be considered as hay as long as you tended it. Well, I guess I was wrong. I probably am. I probably am wrong. Um, this is this grass, folks. I uh, went so the load I go. And I'll show you here. We're 37% done on the bailing contract. Fold that up and fold that up, get it out of the way. Might have to put some more hay into this contract because of my. Can I shut that off? Yeah. Uh, but I want to show you here all these bales are considered grass. So I'm going to have to let the rest of this dry. And I want to show you something here. Alright, this is between field uh, 4 and 5 or potatoes here. And you see the three different types here. You got the wet grass. And then you got semi-wet grass. And then this right here, I said uh, like a neon green. That is your hay. That's the color that this whole thing is going to have to be in order to get hay. And we'll tab around here and go up here. I just left this area. Uh, this considered not ours for some reason. But anyway, as you can see, all of this, this is fun, is semi-grass, semi-dry grass. 
and uh, this right here is height. So that's got to turn. This got to turn to that color. And if you go in here, you can see down here at the bottom, uh, by 9 o'clock, we're in drying time. And then uh, no rain or nothing for a while. We'll get some sun um, late part of Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, partly cloudy. Monday's sunny. So, yeah. Um, since I'm already about 25 to 28 minutes in, um, I just wanted to show y'all that. And this is our big guy. We got our big guy, 400, on the baler. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to use it, but I'm going to have to let this grass dry before um, we can do anything about it. So, um, as far as the bells, only thing I know, see this is the 16 bells. I done took 16 bells to the straw barn and it gave me $1,038 or something like that for grass. Um, I don't think these bales will dry sitting out here. Uh, activate cut bales. Let's do, see if we can do that. Um, I'll grab it. Nope, oh, ain't gonna give me a way to cut them. In other words, I was gonna say I cut them all open and then uh, re them or whatever I gotta do. Anybody got anything? Just let me know. If not, I'm gonna have to uh, use F11 and turn these into dry grass that way. And then uh, I don't guess it'd be cheating. Oh well, yeah, I guess it would be in a way because if we uh, don't use F11 and I can't find a way to cut these bales open, it says pick up, throw. What's a J do nothing. We're gonna do all. Oh, let's see. Oh, cut bail with the mouse button. Oh, okay. So, right click. Okay. I know what I got to do now. I got to unload all of those. And then come through here and do all these. Oh, man. That's going to be rough. There we go. Huh. Okay, folks. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do before the next episode. Next episode... We will be uh, bailing and planting. We're going to plant, depending on what time it is, we're probably going to plant first and then pick up this. Oh, man. Anyway. Huh? What's this? Ow, my phone's ringing. Oh, what a ring. It was a text message. What? What's this? What's this? Tommy Miller. This is Spectacle Island Forestry Commission. Unless you plant 300 trees within the next three weeks, we will be forced to charge you $25,000 for over deforesting Spectacle Island. Anything above 300 trees, we will compensate you $10 per tree you plant. What? What? $25,000? Oh. Folks, I got a headache now. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a good one. I'm gonna faint. Oh.